Okay, in a conversation with this guy here, HKJ, he says he saw an article and realized this isn't really considered an essential doctrine. And he's, we're talking about once saved, always saved. Okay, and um, so th this actually is the single most important doctrine for salvation. Because if you do not believe once saved, always saved, then you're not saved at all. It's really simple because what you're saying is, if you don't believe once saved, always saved, you don't believe what Jesus did was enough. You have to be a good person. And then thereby, you're making everything that Jesus did void. All right, and you're putting your faith and trust in yourself and not what Jesus has done for us. Very simple stuff, but I want to give you an example here. Um, you, so, like uh, circumcision. You, you know what, you understand what circumcision is. It cuts off the flesh, right? It's something that's done after the eighth day. It's a practice that goes back to Abraham and that cutting off the flesh is symbolic of the true circumcision when we are born of the Spirit of God we are cutting ourselves off from the flesh okay just like the circumcision of cutting off the flesh you can't reattach that flesh once that flesh is off it's off for good so also when we are born of the Spirit of God once we are born of the Spirit of God, we cut off that flesh for good. There's no reattaching that flesh. Therefore, once you cut off the flesh, you're saved forever. Saved and sealed forever. So once you're saved, you're always saved. Okay, and so that comes by faith, right? It doesn't come by, you know, good works. It comes by faith. In the Lord Jesus Christ okay and um, I'm not sure there, there's more I can add to that uh, right there alone nullifies this idea that you can lose your salvation okay and one one verse I always like to go to is um, verses in John 6 where he says that, um, uh, I am the bread of life. Jesus said unto them, I am the bread of life. He that comes to me shall never hunger, and he that believes on me shall never thirst. So, if you're saved, you're never going to hunger. You're never going to thirst. Right, all that the Father gives me shall come to me, and him that comes to me I will in no wise cast out. See, everybody that's saved, he's not going to unsave you. Right, and then all, and this is the Father's will which has sent me all, that all of which he has given me, I should lose nothing. He's not going to lose a single person that is saved. So therefore, once you're saved, you're saved forever. Okay, there's no possible way to lose your salvation. It's not by what you have done, but what was done for you. All right, being confident of this very thing that he which has begun a good work in you will perform it until the day of Jesus Christ. Be confident, have peace, be still, know that you're sealed and secure forever. All right?